In this video, we're going to replace this Sony stereo with a new DAB radio. If your car already has a radio like this, it should be possible to swap the radios over and install a DAB antenna to start receiving digital stations. We're going to install a new Sony DAB stereo, but first we need to remove the old one. Before installing the new radio, I'm just double checking that the old one does receive FM stations and checking that there is no CD left inside the stereo. If it's a face-off type of radio, the front panel should be removed first. Next, the plastic trim around the radio can be removed. Carefully push on the frame where the tabs lock into the radio. We don't want to break the tabs in case the old radio will be used again. Now the radio needs to be removed from the cage which holds it in the car. This is done with the removal keys. These would come with the old radio when it was installed, but if you don't have them you can buy replacements. The keys are specific to the brand of radio. Make sure the power to the radio is switched off. The keys slide down the left and right side of the radio until they click in place. If the key doesn't click, try removing it and turning it over. Once the keys are clicked into place, they can be pulled backwards to pull out the stereo. Take this step slowly in case any cables snag on the cage. The aerial and radio plug can be removed from the back of the old radio. The old radio used a specific cable to convert to a Sony plug from the standard radio plugs. This needs to be removed as well. If you don't see standard ISO connectors or the wiring looks like it's been modified, you might need to get an adapter or make some repairs first. Cars from the 80s and early 90s might have a single DIN radio, but a manufacturer specific connector. It's worth searching online to see what adapters are available. Next, the cage needs to be removed. Although we are replacing one Sony stereo with another, the new one is a different depth. The tabs which hold the cage in place are carefully prized up with a screwdriver. At this point, the DAB aerial can be installed. I'm using a magnetic DAB aerial which was installed in a previous video, so I'm just pulling the cable through the dashboard. Now the new cage can be installed. This pushes into place and the tabs are folded out with a screwdriver. Insert the flat bladed screwdriver into the tab and twist by 90 degrees. The tab will fold out. This is easier than trying to push the tabs down. The wiring adapter which came with the new radio can be plugged into the car. One of the plugs is for speakers and the other is for power. If your car has steering wheel controls, you might be able to get an adapter to keep those working with the new radio. The FM AM aerial, DAB aerial and wiring adapter are plugged into the back of the new radio. It's then slid into the cage. Don't push it all the way back yet in case something doesn't work. The front panel is then attached and we're ready to turn on the ignition. When the radio is switched on for the first time, it should initialize. After a few seconds, the new Sony unit tunes into a digital radio station. Check that you can browse DAB stations and that all of the speakers are working. Something we also need to check is that the radio is powered correctly. This can be done by setting some presets on DAB and FM. Turn off the ignition and remove the key. Turn the ignition back on and check the presets. If they have disappeared and the radio initializes again, it could be that the switched live and permanent live are the wrong way around. The wiring adapter has bullet connectors on these wires so that they can be swapped over if required. The manual for your new radio will have more information on this. Everything is working on our radio so we can push it all the way into the cage until it clicks. This is quite easy with the new radio as it's not very deep. If your radio meets some resistance, don't keep pushing it in. Pull the radio back out and check that no cables are getting caught or are in the way. The trim can be added around the radio to hide the edge of the cage. Finally, the front panel can be inserted again and the radio is ready to use. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the rest of our channel for more videos on car radios and DAB aerials. 
If this video has been useful, please consider clicking like and subscribe for more videos like this. We've also got more information on our website through the links in the description.